Hello and welcome. My name is Hero and this is my Lift Stry series of Expeditions Vikings, where I'm once again joined by the wonderful Gaming Archeo. Hello! And we're about to uh, take on the next part of this game, and for the first time we have some choices to make. Well, some big choices anyway. We have three quests that we can uh, start on now. We have to gather some more crew members for our expedition. Have to get the ship built, and we have to get some money. So I, I'm thinking we should probably start getting some money if we want to hire people and build ship and stuff. So let's do that first. So we need to go out. But this idea about like robbing a tomb, was it like something people would do back then? Uh, I don't know, like tombs were kind of held as like, if not, I mean, I don't know of any direct evidence, but it just kind of seems as one of those things that it's like, a lot of the graves are not super well furnished, so there's not a lot that you would like, of wealth that you would pull out of the most of it's like symbolic or like people related stuff. So I'm sure tomb robberies happened, but it seems more like a thing that bandits would kind of do rather than like an organized, you know, fandom robbery, unless it was with the explicit purpose of like humiliating someone. This is obviously, the, like this doesn't really hold in a lot of other cultures where tombs were incredibly well furnished with like economic goods. Yeah. But. Well, we're going to have to see what they have. Maybe it's just like trinkets. Yes. Anyway, the witch is a princess across your side, your long house. I heard you're leaving. I want to join you. Why do you wish to join? Mm, do I really need a reason? Yeah. Mm, it's just time to leave, you know. I owe a lot to old Hula, but I've learned all I can from her, and I still don't know enough. I hear it's a big world out there. It's a dangerous trip. You'll have to contribute. Well, do you think there's a small chance some of you might get hurt on this really dangerous trip? You know these herbs aren't just made for making people sick, right? To hold a train dress healer? Of course. That's what witches do, you know. Sure. I'll be glad to have you on board. Thank you. I'll find someone to take care of Hulu whilst we're gone. You're letting the poisoner join us? Oh, what do you think here? Are we still being a bitch towards him? No, I think take the first one. Yes, and I'll hear no objections. I spent the whole night in the freezing outhouse because of her lies. I could have given you much worse things, you know. Apparently he spits fire. Uh, so we need to... Oh, we need to talk to that farmer guy. Uh, it's a thing I think. It's a she. She? Yeah. Yes, it is. You find Iris next to her farmhouse holding a headless hen in one hand. A knife in the other. The ground around her is covered in feathers. Ho there! What brings you kids out here? Don't tell me Raven Vez Sao chooses this moment to give birth. I feel like I'm missing some important context here. You silly cow is ready to give birth any day now. Promise Rang Ve that I would lend a hand when it happens. Oh, only I'm in the middle of plucking a hen for dinner. Anyway, what brings you out here, if not the sow? I want to ask you about one of the stories you told me when we were children. Hmm, it's been so long. Hope I can remember. What do you need to know? How you told us of a gravesite in the hill once, where an ancient king was buried with all his treasure. Hmm, that story, yes. 
They said the tomb was protected by dwarves or elves or other such underground creatures that horrible vengeance would befall any who dared to breach its sanctity. Do you know if the tomb is real? Seen it myself. Traveled through there with Elva dear when we had be just been married on our way here to start our family. Spent the night in a small hamlet at the base of the hill where I heard of the treasure and the creatures that protect it. Why are you asking about this now? I am preparing an expedition. I need treasure that can trade for supplies. <laughs> where goes the journey? The isles across the sea. The stories tell of unprotected coasts and great riches. I now have additional questions. Tell you what, let me come with you to the grave. Be easier if I simply show you the way. What about your sons? They're old enough to look after the farm in my absence, and they've got their aunt and granduncle to help them if there's trouble. Do you know how to defend yourself? I have little training, if that's what you mean. But I'm no frail old lady. Alvir left the helmet and shield for his sons, but they fit me just as well. We'll bring an axe. Think that'll cover it. If you wish to join, you're welcome. Great! Meet you at the end of the village when it's time to leave. For now, though, really must finish this hen. Just like taking the whole village. Yeah! I guess we just... Head on out. Yeah. Uh, so Mars campsite, Plains campsite. Going down in order to leave it. Oh, ancient passage screen. I think it's there, yeah. Yeah. You should probably travel from like campsite to campsite. Maybe we discover our own campsite on the way. Let's try to be first. Okay. Yeah, then other campsites come. Okay. Let's just take that. Let's see what that's there. Let's leave it up. Can we some fight? Okay. What is happening? What? Oh, oh the enemies are. Oh, there, there, there. Okay. So she's the healer. She has to heal. She is very low damage, but a lot of hit points. Probably put these two in the front. Sounds like a good plan to me. Hang out at the back with the witch. But we can spot them. <laughs> we need to remember to do that first. Yeah. So you still have an action. What can she do? Uh, 
dust of a uh, cloud of dust spores that covers the target pixel. These packets will in turn treat them as full color for the target. So it's even bad. Cool. I can shoot at this. <laughs> That's so rude. Kind of lacking motivation for why we're attacking these people. Yeah. It's, it's sort of we talked about this yesterday, right? Where it's like... It's not that there's anything bad about the combat or the story. Like, it's a decent enough story and it's a decent enough combat system. It's just, I'm not really, like... There's such a break between what you do when you're following, like, the storyline versus what you're doing in this, which is not necessarily a problem. But it's just like, I don't really know why we're fighting these people. The combat's a little bit slow. There's not really, as you say, like the motivation is just kind of not really there as to what I should be doing this, doing with this. They're all being little nerds hiding behind trees. Where are they going? Come back! <laughs> so, why is it that we want to attack them if they're just like running away? Yeah! I really don't get this. There was like, and then we didn't get given any story or anything leading into this either, it just kind of yep. happened. I guess it did say that it was occupied. Maybe we came Did in you? and we were like, yeah, on the like uh, overview, yeah. it said occupied camp. But the other one was occupied as well, I'm pretty sure. But it doesn't seem like you can travel, like, unless you press something on the map. Yeah. Oh, they heal so much. Yeah. I feel kind of bad, like, these dudes were just, like, hanging out off the road, like, trying to, like, make a living. And we come in with our gigantic, like, everything, and just, like, start wailing on them. It's a bit yeah. rude. Like, look at him. He has like a eating knife. Oh, oh she has a sling. It's pretty cool. Signal arrow. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh he only had two. Voice holes. No, she's coming back. What is it? Like that dude was possibly trying to flank? Oh, that hurt. Yeah. Oh, she might well be dead. I don't feel so bad anymore. We'll have to move some people so she can be safe. So uh, you have to go down here and shoot. You have to go away so this will trip kill my person. Nice. Don't let go. 
stunning. Flanken. We just find the enemy. This will be. Cool. I feel like we're getting this this knowledge after we did it. Yeah. And after we've already seen other people do it as well in other battles. Have we? Yeah. In the one on the bridge, we saw them flank. Oh. <laughs> She's probably fine. Wouldn't worry. I'm also a little unsure as to why people sometimes die versus just getting incapacitated. Yeah. I haven't seen a good explanation for this either. Don't miss. Ooh. Critical hit. Damn. And he's hitting with his fists. Yeah. <laughs> she has like this gigantic stick. And dude's just like, oh. My fisty cuffs. Yup. Now he's pretty bound. No, oh, hey guys, what's up? Face sassed. It's, it's it's okay that they have a, like a animation for the but you can't it. override it. Yeah. Yeah. Like when it doesn't have any effect in the game, it's like punk job. Okay, so... Is this where we decide uh, okay. what, what they do? So there's like uh, resting, guarding, hunting, cooking, preserve. We have some food. We should probably like make him... the same warehouse. Uh... Camping, there's a tooltip. Welcome to campsite. This is where you heal injuries and create items and equipment. When your characters want to talk to you, they all strike up a conversation during the night. This is the to-do list. Every time you make camp, you need to make sure that everyone gets rest, that everyone eats, that broken items are repaired, and that every injured herdman is treated. At the same time, you should ensure that the camp is well guarded. Start by assigning food to everyone. A herdman is just as happy to eat rations as meat. Remember that meat perishes quickly if it is not eaten as preserved. Characters lose morale if they don't eat. Divide, the night is divided into four shifts, and you're able to assign one task to each herdman per shift. Try assigning a different task now, and a new tutorial window will explain each one. Some tasks are only available in particular shifts. Once you're happy with your setup, click Make Camp to set anyone after the chores. If you change your mind, the Leave Camp button makes you back to the campaign. Oh my god, there's so much going on. So, they can hunt all through the night. So far, it doesn't seem like there's anything you can't do. So, she should probably, she can heal. So she should oh, probably she can heal. witchcraft. Uh, so, how, how many shifts probably... Oh gosh. This is the triage menu where you can treat the injuries that your herdman has sustained. Anyone with healing skill can treat an injury, but the higher the healing rank of this medicine you can eat, a healer can only treat one injury per shift. Okay! Oh, I think for some reason she can't seem to treat herself. Good! Uh, this shows the patient and the duration risk of the injury. It also shows it's the penalty imposed on the patient. Oh, it's just there's yeah. so much stuff. 
test. So, yeah. So, that was that. No one that else can heal. That. No one else can heal. So, do we have any meat? No. No. So, can anyone hunt? No rank, no rank, no rank. Rank two, yeah, get out of here. So we'll start him off with guarding. Mm hmm. So I guess we need to guard at each, like, period during the night, maybe? Yeah. Well, it says guard. We got rank one. I guess we should, like, do this then. And then just put the others on rest the other time? Yeah. Yeah, because I guess they need to sleep at some point, right? Yeah. Yeah! Does anyone have to serve? Just have to serve in case you get some meat. Catches some stuff, yeah. Okay! Let's do this. 35% chance that they will not be attacked. Oh. Okay, that doesn't seem great. Okay, so you need a lot of guarding going on. Apparently. Jesus! Well, I wonder how much they need to rest. I guess prioritizing the people who are fatigued to be able to rest. Oh, but I was thinking, like, how many of these do they need to be, like, fresh? Oh, I see what you're saying, okay. Let, let's try this. Huh. That was a long night. Like, they get eight hours of sleep. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Yup. So, we should probably have gotten to more rations. So now it, that's occupied. That's occupied. That's not occupied. I wonder if you could... Get food home. So I guess we have to travel from campsite to campsite. Yeah. Anyway, we are gonna have to figure that out next time. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you're interested, the like button, subscribing. Hope to see you next time. And until then, have a good day. Bye.